Hey, so today what we're gonna do is I want to try these Broadway the real life brush on gel nail kit because uh, don't judge my I've been trying on nail polish. I broke two nails so I'm going to go ahead and I've heard a lot of the good things about the kiss set but I couldn't find it so um, I went ahead and picked me up the Broadway nail set and I got it on sale so that was even better for me. Um, it says there, there, there are two complete applications in here and um, there's 48 short length tips and it's supposed to be done in three easy steps. You're supposed to apply the self tap tip and you're supposed to brush on the gel, brush on the applicator and it finishes smooth. So it also has an orange stick, cuticle stick in there and a little buffer but I wouldn't pick my own. And so it says salon colored gel nails made simple. Mistake proof brush on gel is perfect for beginners. No UV light, no odor, and no filing. Extends polish wear. So, um, so what else does it say? Same thing I already said. And blah, blah, blah. So what I went ahead and grabbed um, in case I needed it. Because I'm going to uh, go ahead and cut my nail. So you need a nail clipper. Because I'm going to trim all my nails the same length since I broke some. I got me a cuticle pusher. I have um, the instant gel cuticle remover from Avon that I always use. And I went ahead and picked me up some nail and cuticle care to rub on before I apply the nails. And I got me my own little file so I could buff my nails so I could, these will hopefully stick on a little better. And it says they soak off quicker than acrylics and glue on gels. So we're going to go ahead and test this out. So first I'm going to go ahead and do this on my, um, my left hand. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it on my right hand, my dominant hand. So you guys can kind of see how bad I do, <laughs> how bad of a job I'm going to do on my dominant hand. So um, I'm going to go ahead and apply my left hand, which is my easy hand, and I'll go ahead and be right back. So first, though, I'm going to show you what's in the kit. So I'm doing this with one hand, so forgive the shaky camera. So once you open it, everything that comes in it, you have all kinds of nails tips nail tips nail tips uh, a cuticle stick you have the Broadway brush on gel you have the Broadway brush on app activator I can't speak today and the Broadway brush cleaner which I don't know what that's for so then you have your little nail buffer file thing also included are some directions, and you're just going to go ahead and open these. Okay, so now I buffed all my nails, just very lightly, and I went ahead and already pre-measured um, my nails, so you're just going to take the nail tips out of the package. I already closed mine back up because I already chose them, and you're just going to go ahead, and they have little numbers on the tabs that you can't see, but um, you're going to go ahead and just fit them to your nail the best that the best fit that you can find and I went ahead and already pre-laid them out so they're right there so I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside and now that that's all done you're gonna first grab your brush on gel and you're gonna use this to apply it to your finger so you're gonna take your brush on gel hopefully it's still and it says to apply it to the inner portion of the nail not the tip because that's not going to touch your finger so just the inner portion it has a little line if, if you can kind of pick that up let me see you kind of see the little french tip line right here you're just going to put it on the inside so i'm going to go ahead and brush that on just the inner portion Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and apply the nail on, and I'm holding it down on the side and the tip, just to make sure that it sticks to my nail. Now I know why they recommend for you to do your dominant hand first, because it's kind of a pain in the butt, but... I'm doing it for you guys. So, I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze like this to kind of make sure the sides of the nail stay on. 
and that's what that looks like. So you're going to go ahead and do that on all your nails. So you're going to take your second nail, and I'm going to make sure again that it fits. Take my brush on gel, and brush that on the inside. And put this nail on. And this one's a little big, so I'm going to go ahead afterwards and file it down. So you can see, it kind of popped off now. And hold that down and kind of squeeze everywhere that you can. You just use your fingers. Your fingers are your best tools. Just use them to help on the sides and on the nail bed as best you can. And be very careful with your other hand because your other hand will still be wet. Which is unfortunate because uh, I would expect it to dry pretty fast, but it didn't. So you're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest, the last three, and I'll be right back. Okay, so after your nails are all applied, I'm trying to do this in natural sunlight, so hopefully you guys get a better view, but it doesn't look like it. This is what it's going to look like. Do you see? So then after that it says to take your brush cleaner, this one right here, and apply it to the seam where the nail tip is and your real nail meet. So you're going to apply it to the seam of each nail. You can go ahead and take it. And apply that across. It kind of dries fast so I kind of use it in little strokes. And I apply that especially to the sides of the nail because I don't want these lifting too soon, you know. You want to get your money's worth. So you're going to do that to each nail. I'm going to try to give you guys a different... Okay, so here's a little better angle. So I did it on, I believe, this one. But I'm going to do this one one more time because this, this one doesn't technically fit my nail so well so there we go then you go ahead and let me just tell you if you guys heard me gasp I just spilled this on my leg and it dries extremely fast let me tell you can you tell I'm not so good with a nail polish brush on uh, with my left hand <laughs> this is like so sloppy but I'm trying here. I'm showing you guys how unperfect my right hand always is. Okay, now it's my pinky. Okay, so after that's done, you're going to go ahead and let that dry. And you're going to remove these tabs. So to remove them, you're just going to take it and you're going to bend it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it gets loose enough to come off. Okay. Okay, take that off. See, the only thing I don't like about this kit, oh, there's a couple things. The first thing I don't like is that it ha leaves that little ridge right there, that little tab extra. And it says no filing needed. Well, obviously, you need to file. To be able to take that little excess piece off and there's a couple more times you need to file so I don't like that it's lies to me and tell me there's no filing needed I don't mind if there's filing but don't lie to me and tell me there's no filing needed because then I just don't trust your product anymore I don't try to make it sound more simple than it really is this is actually quite complicated not complicated complicated but they make it seem so like easy. One, two, three, and your nails are all on, but it's a little more than one, two, three. It's actually eight steps, so there it's actually kind of annoying false advertisement. So go ahead and take off all these little tabs. Okay? So then that's what you get. So after that, the next step is to file your nail and shape it to you how you like. If you want it rounded, if you want it a little bit more squared off. If you want to put a little dent in the middle and have like a little pointed French tip, whatever. And then you want to kind of um, file around the sides if your nail, if the nail tip doesn't properly fit your nail. And then it says to buff the seam area 
where your nail bed is and where your nail tip begins so you can have it blend more with your natural nail. So see, it kind of lies on the package. So I'm going to go ahead and take this little buffer. And at first I'm going to just go in one direction and file it down until I'm rid of that excess piece and then it kind of makes your nail a little crooked so then you just kind of fix that a little okay so now the tab's gone so you do that on all the nails because I'm doing these first so then while the glue and stuff is drying I don't have to worry about filing it okay Okay. Make sure you do that on all five fingers. And then I'm just going to fix the shape because some of these kind of got out of shape when you filed them. Okay. I'm going to fix it a little bit. So then after they're all filed, I'm going to go on the sides of them and file in so it make it blend in with my nail on the sides, okay? So any of them that need it on the side, which is mostly this one, I believe. the shape see so can you see this one kind of chipped off of my nail a little well that's kind of annoying okay so I'm never getting this set again so I'm gonna go ahead and fit, repair that by putting on some of this Hopefully that kind of fixes that little patch. If not, I'd be very disappointed. Okay, then you just finish filing along the sides. That's why I kind of wanted to let it dry a little bit, but, like, I had dinner to make and stuff, so I don't got all day. Okay, so once they're all filed, the next step you're going to do is... apply um, the brush on a gel on each nail so it says to not let this dry before you brush on the activator you need to have the gel wet on your nail for the activator to work so if after you brush on the gel it dries before you get the activator on you need to brush on one more layer of gel before you brush on the activator okay so you're gonna go ahead and take the brush on gel and you're gonna brush this onto each nail with long even strokes. So I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to go ahead and go along the side. Make sure you get where you're on the side where your nail and tip meet so you get a better staying power. Okay? You don't want these to come off within a couple days. Well, within a day. Okay, then you're going to take your second nail and brush on the gel this pointer finger is really messed up and that kind of really upsets me and try not to get this on your finger nothing's going to happen if you do but you don't want to have your nail come off because you got it on your finger or your cuticle area okay you know how when they do it in the, the salons and if you get like the cuticle the acrylic on your finger your tip will start lifting you don't want that to happen with this set so make sure that you try not to get it anywhere but on your nail 
And make sure you brush away, brush away any dust. Man, I can't talk today. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and take the activator. And you're going to take this. And it says, in between, you're going to dip the brush into the brush cleaner and the, the nail activator. Okay, and then carefully. So, since I dropped mine... I don't know where this picked back up. I'm so lost and confused. This is like my sixth time dropping it. Um, if the brush on gel gets dry, reapply, and then get your brush on activator, and you're going to apply that on top of a wet brush on gel. So in between nails, you're going to dip it into the brush cleaner, okay? So I went ahead and reapplied the brush on gel because mine dried a little, and I'm going to start at my middle finger and brush on the brush on activator. I'm sorry that this video is like getting cut out sometimes, but I keep dropping my camera because I'm trying a new angle. So in between, now that I finished my middle finger, I'm going to dip it into the brush cleaner. Get it again into the brush activator. Well, hold on. Let me put on some more brush on gel because this one dried. You want to make sure that it's wet when you apply it. Okay, brush on gel. Now we're going to go ahead and put on the brush on activator on my last two nails. So, got that. There we go. On your pinky. There we go. Okay, so then this is what it's going to look like after they're done. And this is not the last step, so don't think we're done. You're going to go ahead and one more time you're going to add the brush on gel and the brush on activator. So you're going to go one more time on your nails. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the end result after you apply the Broadway gel nails. I'm uh, really disappointed in this set uh, for various reasons. For one... I'm going to bring the box over here. It says, what does it say? Patent formula dries in minutes and are under five minutes. I wish you could read that. Um, that's a lie. Okay, I did this nail uh, 40 minutes ago, my left hand, and they're still wet to the touch. And it's really, like, hell-bent hot in my house. And I have a fan on my nails and everything, and they still haven't dried. So I've been sitting here since 520. It is 614. Okay, so that's line number one. Um, number two, it says finishes smooth. Um, okay, I can agree that it finishes smooth. Um, I guess it minus my thumb, but that's my issue, my fault. So let's see what else it lied about. It is not three easy steps. If you see the instructions, it goes all the way to number 12. So number one, it says to apply the brush on gel underneath the back and um, apply it onto your natural nail and hold firmly. Number two, it says apply a small amount of brush cleaner along the seam, seam of every nail to make it easier for blending. Step three, remove the self tabs by bending up and down. Do not twist. So that's already three steps. Oh, that's four steps. I'm, I my apologies. Step one is to correct the, the two. I oh, my goodness to select the correct size tip for each finger. So now we're on step four, okay? S step five is to file to desired shape and to buff the seam area. Step six is to set up the bottles in order by the brush on gel, brush on activator, and the brush cleaner. Step seven is to complete one hand at a time and apply one even layer of brush on gel to all five nails. Step number eight is using long even strokes, apply the brush on activator onto one nail at a time. Always returning the brush into the brush cleaner between each nail. Okay? And then it says, brush on activator must be applied over wet brush on gel. If brush on gel should dry, reapply before applying the brush on activator. And number 9 is repeat step 7 and 8 on the other hand. Number 10 is apply a second layer of brush on gel and brush on activator onto each hand. Number 11 is let dry brush on gel nail kit is self leveling and will dry smooth and shiny number 12 says to apply polish 
So see, you have really 12, 13, 14 steps into a 14, oh, sorry, people keep walking in and interrupting me. Apply 14 steps before you get your freaking nails. So that's a darn lie. It is not three easy steps. That's very upsetting, okay? What else did they lie about? Where is it? No filing. I wish this would focus. No filing or trimming is needed. The picture of this information will be on my blog, Bust Believe, because this is kind of upsetting. No filing or trimming is needed. Okay, you have to file your nails to get off the tabs. You have to file along the side to make sure the nail fits correctly on your finger. You need to buff the seam line to make sure that your nail, um, th that the nails look better when you after you apply the, the gel. Okay, and then after that, that's all the filing pretty much. So that's three filings. So don't tell me there's no filing needed because there is definitely filing needed. Okay, N another one. This brush on gel, there's not even enough to do as many applications. I'm already on low and I've only done both my right and my left hand. This says it is for com two complete applications. There's not enough brush on gel in this kit to do two applications, so don't lie to me. Okay, this brush on activator, there's barely any in there, and this will not definitely not last two applications, two complete applications, okay, as much as they ask you to put on. This brush cleaner, nothing's wrong with it, but it fell on my leg twice. And I mean, there's still a good amount, so I dropped it twice, and I mean, okay, fine. Okay, I would definitely not recommend this kit for somebody. Let me close my window, they're all listening. I would definitely not recommend this kit for um, somebody with no patience like me and for somebody who really has a busy life and needs nails for like say tonight we're going out to a party or you need them for um, an event or whatever you because you have to sit here and have patience to apply all these to your nails and then I didn't even realize that this kit was not the French tip kit because I saw the French tip in the corner and I automatically assumed that's what happens when I'm shopping too fast and I'm really excited you can see you see where the nail tip begins and my real nail is I don't like that ah, I just messed up my thumb on this hand by getting it stuck to my shirt can you see Brr, that makes me mad so I now have to sit here after this dries it's, I don't know it's 620 now it's been an hour and they're still wet to the touch so that really irritates me that they're not fast drying like they say and um, whenever they dry in six years, I'm going to go ahead and have to paint them and show you guys, do a tutorial on it, obviously, and paint them. And that's going to take more of my time. So this is not at all a quick solution. This is very time consuming. Um, the application was kind of tricky within itself if you don't have patience. And the gel um, activator was very sticky and very gloopy, gloppy, however you want to say it, and it made it hard to evenly distribute it am among your nails. So, um, I actually have two that are messed up now. This one because I hit it on my shirt. And this one, you can't see, but right there, that little bump you can see right here, happened because when I was filing the nail, like it said, it broke off. So, um, all in all, I would not punch it buy this product again it was $9.99 in Rite Aid but I got it on sale for I believe $8.99 because I had a dollar off coupon for Rite Aid not even for this company so um I tried the Broadway like tips before the full nails and those were okay but I didn't like the bubbling on it so I'm thinking I'm gonna stop trying my Broadway products because this was not worth the $9.00 um, I could have went with the Kiss for $16.99, but I couldn't find it, and I probably would have had better results. So that'll be my next um, expedition in the store. But for the Broadway Instant Brush, oh, it's not even Brush on Gel, it's Rush on Gel Nail Kit. Salon Sales, sin, oh my goodness! Salon Nails Made Simple, definitely wouldn't try it again. Definitely not worth the $10. Um, so I say if you don't have patience, don't try it. And you can, I mean, you're more than welcome to buy the set still. I mean, they're cute nails. I'm going to um, apply polish to them to make them look better. But as far as if you don't have patience and if you don't have a steady hand, like my left hand isn't as steady as my right, I wouldn't recommend the set 
to you. So um, save your money. I would say spend more money on the better quality brand versus um, getting the five dollar difference and getting this brand for nine ninety nine. So definitely spend the sixteen dollars on a better brand. But um, I'm gonna help you find a better brand for these nails. I'm gonna go for the kiss and I'm gonna go for. I think there's a Sally Hansen set out there, and I'm gonna go ahead and purchase those two and uh, do do them on my nails to see which one is the better brand for your money okay so um i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial on how to apply them but maybe you have better luck go ahead and leave your comments below if you tried this broadway real life nail kit and if you had better luck and if you have a video post it as a response as for me this is the result this is how it came out and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for listening and take care